Cleanup efforts are underway in northwest Jacksonville at a site the Environmental Protection Agency has called one of the most polluted sites in America. Here's video from our Sky 4 drone today. You can see crews cleaning up the former Fairfax Street Wood Treaters plant, a super fun site. It sits on Fairfax Street near Susie Tolbert Elementary School. Neighbors tell News for Jax they're concerned today's efforts put more pollution into the air. News for Jax reporter Destiny McKeever joining us live where that cleanup is happening. Destiny. Enjoy. Before I start, I do want to tell you guys, my photographer and I, we have on our protective gear so that we are not breathing in these toxic airs. But if you take a look, you can see where this all is happening. Crews have been here throughout the day today cleaning this area. And people who live out here, some of them been out here for 30 years. They say they're most worried about the elementary school students right around the corner. Some are just worried that they could be breathing in this air. That plant is consisted of oxygen, copper, and chromium. Chromium-6, which is very deadly. It's an eyesore in this Fairfax community. It's been here for over 30 years. Debris from the old Fairfax Street Wood Treaters factory has piled up and made it hard for residents like Eddie Rogers to breathe. I bought a house down the street years ago. I got cancer. Everything that caused I got. Mr. Rogers is one of several residents claiming this site has made them sick. We interviewed former construction workers back in 2015 who said they stacked lumber coated with toxic chemicals. They too had major health issues. Take a look at video from our Sky 4 drone. It shows crews cleaning up some of the mess today. Residents were worried because there were no tarps to keep the debris in place. Yeah, I need to, they need to cover up that stuff. I need to um, do more about it because it's, it's still contamination. It's bad for us right here. Not only is Susie Talbert around the corner, this house across the street is being worked on because the toxins got into the yard, according to residents. The EPA previously reported finding arsenic on the soil, saying people should not live or work near the property. You know, I got bronchitis and asthma, I got cancer, so it's bad for me. And I've, been, I've been sick a lot. I've been catching it. I've been catching hell, baby. Excuse my language. It's hard for me. And we did reach out to the city of Jacksonville to see if any preventative measures are being taken to make sure residents are safe in this area. They referred us over to the EPA. They said the EPA is responsible for making sure that takes place. Right now, we are waiting for a response from the EPA. Reporting live on the north side of Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, The Local Station.